Wow. We know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, and that was not uh, on the top ten places to visit. Pretty dicey towns. And in fact, I believe there was a pillar of salt somewhere in there. And Jesus is talking about Tyre and Sidon and Capernaum as being worse than that. It's like, woof. And it's not so much that they were worse than that. It's the fact that they had done one thing or neglected to do one thing. They did not repent. They were given everything they needed. They didn't hear a prophet. They didn't see a prophet. They heard Jesus Christ, the Son of God. They saw Jesus Christ, the Son of God. They interacted with Jesus. And still, And still, they didn't change. It's like, okay. Truly, hearts that were hardened, the hard ground, the path where the seed fails to penetrate into the depths, where the word in the presence of God fails to penetrate a heart that is hardened like concrete. Jesus' desire is that all be saved. And so it's like, dude, I don't know why you don't get it. And are we not the same? We come to celebrate word and sacrament either through live stream or daily or on the weekends in person. Are we getting it? That's the question. Or does it just hit us like, Oh, I don't even know why I'm here. It's just automatic reaction. It's just what I learned growing up. I know I've got to be here. Got to look good in front of the others. No. The question is, Jesus is present before us in word and sacrament on a regular basis. Are we listening? Do we experience? Do we receive him? Are we changing enough on a daily basis? It's like turning a cruise ship versus a speedboat. You can whip a speedboat on a 180 pretty quick. Try and do that with a cruise ship, and you've got the uh, Titanic or the Poseidon adventure all over again, capsized. It's one degree at a time. Are we faithfully answering that call and changing even the slightest? Striving to be better even just a little bit more today than yesterday. Knowing that tomorrow we still have a ways to go. Jesus does not want to say woe to you or woe to me. But it is ultimately our choice. Obviously, you have joined us via the live stream. You join with us as one body of Christ. Either Monday through Friday here in the church or on the weekend. We are on the path. Don't grow tired of the journey to the path of life. Continue the struggle. Continue the fight. Sometimes the fight is most difficult here in our own hearts. What we see, what we want, what we desire, versus what we need to know that we are to do. And the struggle that lies within us that St. Paul says is always going to be there. Just allow the grace of God to win out more often than not. Don't allow the pettiness or the greed or the avarice of the human heart win out because that's where you will end up. We want to hear blessed are you, well done. We don't want to hear woe. We want to hear your judgment will be better. It will go well because you have struggled. You You're striving to live your faith and follow the Good Shepherd. Continue the good fight so that truly on that final day of judgment, it will go well for each of us. Let us pray for one another. Let us support one another. Let us strengthen one another, especially when times get very difficult or challenging because sometimes faith is the first thing to go, the first thing to be jettisoned from the boat so we don't perceive it to be sinking. And really, once that's thrown out, we have thrown out the life preserver. 
Be steadfast in faith, constant in hope. Be a reflection of Christ each and every day.